Hi everyone, this is Tony from digitalreadymarketing.com. In this video, we are going to do a bit of content gap analysis using SEMrush. So the idea here is to find out what kind of content our competitors have and see what kind of keywords they are ranking for and see you know, if our site has those kind of content or not. And if not, what we can do about it. So here is the website that we're going to use as an example. It's amazingyoga.net. It is a, a yoga studio located in Pittsburgh. So the first thing that we want to do is to find out about ourselves. So we, I'm going to pretend that this is my website and I want to analyze it. So just by inputting amazingyoga.net, the URL uh, in the field here and click on search, SEM Rush provides you with all kinds of good information. So you can see for the organic search uh, based on the estimate that SEM Rush has is it's bringing about 1,500 uh, traffic and about 12 keywords. And if we are going to pay for that same traffic, it will cost us about $540 a month. And as you can see here, AmazingYoga.net does not use any pay search to acquire the traffic and it has about 21 backlinks and also other you know good stuff here what kind of backlink types if they are follow link no follow links things like that but in this video we are not going to talk about those we're going to talk about how we can find the content that our competitors are ranking for so what we want to do is to count position and here, uh, the first screen that shows you is the estimated traffic. And if you click on keywords, that shows you how many keywords that this site is ranking for. And what we want is this table right here. So as you can see, here's a list of keywords that AmazingYoga.net is ranking for and which URL is ranking for that specific keyword. So what we want to do is to export it. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one we just need to be able to open that in excel so i'm just going to go with excel so that's our list of keywords and url now we also need to find our competitors so SEM rush makes it very very easy so if you come here and click on the competitors it will show you a list of competitors that AmazingYoga.net has. And the way they do it is by looking at the common keywords and obviously some other matrix here, but really you try to find websites that are competing against the on online, online visibility that AmazingYoga.net has. So as you can see, you know, this guy seems to have quite a bit of common keywords fighting against AmazingYoga.net, and you know based on that, these are the the search engine traffic, this and that. Now, obviously, you can define your competitor based on the business. You know, maybe within twenty miles radius, that there are five yoga studios, and those are the really other ones that you want to compete against with, and you want to analyze those that is another way to go about but when when it comes to online marketing what we really care about is the ranking on google so if your competitor you know not necessarily within 20 radius miles of your business but they, they are ranking number one and you're ranking number two on a certain keyword that you want to target then you really want to focus on those other guys so in this instance i'm just going to pick uh, yogahivepittsburgh.com and actually if you I'm sorry let's come back here for one second because it makes it very easy if you click on that it will jump straight to your competitor website and you can kind of glance through see what kind of uh, content that they have what kind of site it is and we want to really dive into it so what we want to do is to click on this and then again same kind of data it shows for our competitor and what we want to do is go to position and then what we want to do is export this okay 
So now we have both our own list of URLs and the keywords and then our competitor. And obviously you can do this for multiple competitors, but to make it a little bit simpler, I'm just going to do two for this video. Two in a sense, ourself and our competitor. Okay, so here is a list of keywords that our website is ranking for, the amazingyoga.net. And here's a list of keywords that our competitors is ranking for, Yoga Hive Pittsburgh. So what we want to do is combine these two. Okay, just select them all and create a new tab or something and just paste it there. Same thing here, except I'm, I don't need the first row. So I'm just going to copy that and come here and then just paste it here. And I'm really doing a, a, a simple, dirty uh, process here. And I'll, I'll explain a little bit why this is simple and dirty, because ideally we should deal with the branded keyword, non-branded keyword separately. But I just want to show you very quickly how powerful this method is. So once you combine them, and what we can do is go insert pivot table and just say, okay, and you will create a new sheet. Okay. And now what we want to do is really just play around with these items on the right hand side here. So let's drag keyword and position. Well, position probably it's better here. We can do UIL right down here and right away you can see here's the keyword and here's the page from amazingyoga.net is ranking for that keyword. And interestingly enough, if we scroll down a little bit, you can see here, Amazing Yoga Pittsburgh. Okay, obviously AmazingYoga.net is ranking for number one. YogaHivePittsburgh.com slash teachers. This page is ranking for, for is currently at page 11, uh, ranking 11, which is on page two. So you can kind of do a competitive analysis seeing you know what kind of content that they have is ranking for your keyword as well so let's uh also do search volume right here so you can see and actually right now this is a sam so what we want to do is change that a little bit because we don't want to see sam we just see max okay so now you can see okay for this keyword it's 140 monthly that this keyword is bringing in obviously 51 bus schedule pittsburgh when people search for this keyword they are not thinking about yoga so you don't really need to target for that i mean you don't really want to target for for that keyword 54c bus you know same same deal here you don't really want to optimize for those keywords either so it just happened that your website you know this amazing yoga.net is is ranking for it and you can clearly easily see that from here Okay, so you know you, you what you what you want to do here is really see okay so here's a keyword that I really care about let's say uh, hot yoga Pittsburgh and right now this has a 320 monthly search volume and right now the competitor yoga hive Pittsburgh.com is ranking at position nine. And we are ranking at position five. So that means we are doing okay, but it's coming to get us. So, you know, we, we might want to be aware of that. And that's the kind of thinking that we can do right here. And you can try to analyze, you know, in case they say, you know, from Yoga Hive Pittsburgh perspective, they can actually see amazing yoga domain and see what kind of content it has. And I won't say copy, but sort of mimic you know, if they really have a nice content, a lot of um, in sort of keyword rich phrases, you know, they, they are really written very well, then that means Yoga Hive Pittsburgh can kind of mimic that doing the same kind of things on their website and bring their ranking a little bit higher. And if we scrolling down, Amazing Yoga, it seems to be doing pretty good. I'm trying to find something that Yoga Hive is ranking for. Here we go. 
workplace yoga so yoga hive has a page ranking for that specific keyword which has about 70 monthly search volume and if amazing yoga happens to be offering that kind of yoga classes what they can do is they can go to this page and see what kind of page that is and try to compete against that page by creating a similar or different optimized page to target for that keyword so that that is the idea here you you really want to find out what your competitors are doing and what kind of content they were they already have and you want to go after them so again here yoga highland park yoga have pittsburgh that's their brand uh, keyword so you don't really want to do it. yoga in shady side well they both are there so that's the kind of thing and as you can see here you know there, there is a lot of branded keyword from both websites and so that can get a little bit confusing you know so that's what i meant earlier by we want to take care of branded non-branded keywords and the way to do that is really simple you just want to do amazing yoga you know yo maybe you want to get different variations and you can just get rid of it and just repeat that process until there is no more branded keyword and you do the same thing with yoga hive and you can just create and call this non brand okay and very simple you just repeat the same thing here copy that paste it here and then you do the same thing with yoga hive data filter okay oops yoga let's see what kind of yep so yoga okay obviously that is one there seems like yoga hive doesn't really have too many branded keywords so that's it copy that non brand and you know just paste it and again you just come back all the way to the top and just insert pivot table okay and there you have it you just go keyword url and there you go well there's still actually some amazing yoga keywords in there uh, i suppose uh, they were not gotten rid of for some reason so you know you do a little bit better job by getting rid of those amazing yoga related keywords and you will get a better uh, result so that's pretty much it hopefully uh, this is going to inspire you a little bit and you know help you to do a bit of competitive analysis and find out what kind of content you can create if you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about SEO please visit digitalreadymarketing.com homepage and we are constantly adding more SEO lessons and obviously it comes with videos and we also have our archive page there you can check out all the old uh, older SEO lessons as well so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon